featuring further in the series. But now, our next game is against... Hello everyone and welcome to episode 3 of the Kaiser Slauten career mode. So we start this episode off with a game against Brunswick. Um, same lineup as we finished the last game with the 4-4-2, Teal and Spavlis up front. Uh, this game really, really frustrated me. I had some issues with Teal. He just he felt too slow. Um, I just I couldn't find the goal. I was really struggling. That made it also two nil-nil draws in a row. So I wasn't happy. Um, I decided I was going to make some changes. A striker was the first thing that was on my list for who I was going to sign at the end of the season. But I was looking through the squad hub and I noticed Elias Hoof who was out on loan. So I decided to bring him back um, and we went back to the 4-3-3 for this, for this game and Elias Hoof, I decided I was going to give him a start, see what he was like, see if he was worth keeping in and around the team. So um, we go into the first, the well, second game of the episode and, uh, well, Elias Hoof, <laughs> he, uh, it was a bit of, rev of a revelation. As you can see, we're, they have the ball here, but it's picked up by Sickinger. He gives it into Batchman. Some nice football in the midfield. Goes into Hoof, who a lot of the play in the last couple of games has been dictated through him. Bergman gives it back to Hoof, into Batchman. Goes into Hoof again. Turns nicely and really nicely finishes it in off the post for his first goal for us. He'd scored one goal in this league when he was out on loan. So that is technically his second league goal of the season, but it is his first for us. So a beautiful turn and then a lovely finish. And already I was liking him a lot more than I liked Teal and Spablis up front. Obviously they will still feature, but the way Hoof started this game, um, I couldn't see them getting in ahead of him. Almost immediately, they uh, Z Zikow, Zikwick, <laughs> they kick off um, with the ball. It's given away to Sickinger. He gives it into Hoof. Beats his man first time. Goes past the second. Gets clipped but carries on running. Charges into the box. A minute after he scores his first, he scores his second. And we're cruising. We're 2-0 up. Hoof, so in the first 12 minutes of the game of his debut under me, Hoof had managed to add two league goals. So I was really, really impressed with him. Um, he was definitely, in my opinion, a massive upgrade on Teal and was just causing so many more problems all round than Teal was and a very, very nice finish into the bottom corner there. Half time with 2-0 up. Um, I decided to not make any changes. I thought I would just see the game out. I was quite I was gonna try and get Hoof that hat trick, but out of nothing, Wegg Camp scores a nice finish and it's 2-1. Um it was a little bit disappointing to concede that, but it was just a, a dodgy ball into the box um that bounces up nicely for him. And he, he finishes it calmly. So that saw us only 2-1 up in this game. Nice little overhead kick there from Shad, but a little flick up. And then the finish is his really, really good finish into the into the net. But 91st minute, we managed to hold out at 2-1. Hemlin gets, gives the ball into Bergman, goes to Sviti, and that's the end of the game. So we do pick up a win with our first game with Hoof in the side. As I said, he was an absolute revelation. So I was really, really happy with him. Next game, we were up against Waldorf, and they are they were currently sat in 18th, I believe, in the league. They were down in the last bottom three, I'd say, um, for this game. So I was looking to pick up another win, go for back-to-back -back wins in this game here. Uh, I was quite confident. And Shad goes into Hemlin, gives it to Bergman, to Batchman and Sickinger, the captain, with a very nice finish into the back of the net. Sickinger is somebody I'm really, really enjoying having in my midfield. He's got that creative sort of goal-scoring aspect and is also really good on the ball. So I can see him being somebody that is in and around the squad um, for a while. I do also want to mention that on the bench for this game is one of my youth academy prospects, a 57-rated youngster, who uh, will be looking to give some game time to and develop him. That I've got youth players doing the training at the minute. So you'll be seeing them feature a bit. Um, 14 minutes in, some good play by Hemlin. Beats his man well, keeps the ball in play. Gives it to Bergman, whose shot is saved by the keeper, but it does go in. It was dubious whether that went over the line, but 
the goal line technology never came up, so I'm guessing it, it was a was a confirmed goal. And Bergman scores his first goal of the season with a really, really nice finish into the top corner. Some great little twisting and turning from Hemlin down that wing. And then the finish is his really, really good finish into the top corner. The keeper gets a hand to it, but it's not strong enough to stop it from going in off the bar, off the post and over the line. Lovely, lovely goal. And then you can see my character there celebrating what he thinks must have been a, a terrific goal. And again, we were 2 0 up and cruising. So just before half time, they hit the post. Um, that was really their only chance of the first half. Got a bit lucky there that he didn't score, but that was half time. But not long after half time, got what gives it into. Tries to play the pass. Um, Marks picks it up. Goes out to Deville. Deville, who uh, tries to cross. Nanzak wins it, but gives it away. And lovely little flick over by Sullivan, and he finishes it nicely. So there's little flicks of dummy in both of the last two games. And I've conceded goals from them, but we were still a goal ahead, um, and I was confident these weren't great. I'd had quite a few chances that we hadn't put away. So I was I wasn't too disappointed about not about conceding. I felt like I could hold out the lead in this game, and then ninety second minute, Hoof gives the ball into Sviti. Sviti goes back to Hoof, and Hoof absolutely drives one into the top corner for his third goal of the episode and his third in two since I've brought him back on loan. I feel like Hoof is going to be the catalyst for this first series. Um, it looks quite likely that he's going to score quite a few goals. And I'm really enjoying like the way we play around him. I mean, if he can hit strikes like that, then I'm really going to enjoy using him. That's such a good strike into the top corner from outside the box. And it shows that close range finishes aren't just his thing if he can score goals like that. So that was the last game of that episode, the 3-1 three -one, three -one win. The third goal pretty much secured it. Hoof's fourth of the season in the free league. So... Back-to-back -back wins, we're still actually unbeaten in the league, but we've drawn quite a few, so I believe we sit in fifth place at the minute. Um, we've just got to keep putting a string of wins together now if you want to start pushing pushing for the title. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching that episode. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. See you later.